What's going on guys? My name is Alan and you're watching Alan's Garage. Uh, pretty much what I'm going to be doing is uploading a little bit of different content here and there. Uh, mainly working on cars, doing rebuilds, uh, hopefully being able to make them come from nothing to something, flip them, and then you know buy me something else and kind of carry on with the process. That's the ultimate goal. Uh, but uh, this video here is going to be the beginning of everything, the beginning of something big, hopefully and it's gonna mainly consist of me showing y'all guys my new build the plans that i have for it what i want to do um i'll try to be as detailed as possible with what i'm gonna have to be doing i haven't fully inspected it myself so it's something that both myself and y'all will be going through together and we are gonna learn exactly what it needs to have done what's good on it what's not uh, hopefully it's not too bad hopefully it doesn't break the bank too much um as far as consistency with the videos, I'm not too sure how often I'll be uploading, but I try to keep them, you know, maybe to once a week uh, is, is, is the goal. So hopefully we're able to do that. Uh, but right over here, uh, I am outside my house. It's a beautiful day uh, here in Houston today. Uh, right here, my car is sitting in the driveway right now. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and bring y'all with me and check this out. So that's that's the starter project right there. It's a Mitsubishi Eclipse. Mitsubishi Eclipse. Sorry about that pronunciation. Um, it is going to be something simple to start with. Um, it does need a good amount of work, though. I will tell y'all that much. Um, it, it has the mismatching wheels. So, you know, that's already going to be one thing that we have to, you know, look into getting some new tires. Uh, the bumper itself as well, it's not in the best condition. It does have a good amount of flaws, as you can see uh, right here. It is broken. Uh, the clips may not be good, so that may have to be replaced. Headlights, I'll try to restore them. Might just go ahead and get a new set. Uh, not too sure on that. But we'll see what our options are. Uh, it does have a ding on this fender here. Luckily, I do some body work myself. So uh, we'll try to fix that. Uh, make it look as nice as possible. Worst comes to worst, and it's not being. Worst comes to worst, it's not fixable. Uh, guess we'll be looking at a new fender. Uh, I will be checking out the junkyard for some parts, which is not a problem. You know, I saw it coming. Uh, but. Uh, you can see here the paint's really bad. Clear coats flying everywhere. I don't know if you can tell. But let me bring y'all closer. Look, it's all peeling. Obviously, it needs a good wash. It's probably been sitting in their driveway of the original owner's driveway. It's probably sat there for a while. Uh, he's actually a, a, a close friend of mine. Uh, the friend I bought it from. So let's just hope he didn't screw me over. All right, little take a look at the rear end. Uh, it's got a wing on it. Uh, you know, most of it is still intact, luckily. Uh, I did test drive it for a bit. Uh, drives well. Uh, the sunroof will probably need new seals, though. As you can see, it's like peeling off, and it's just it's just a mess. This is lifting up probably just retouch them up use some seam sealer some epoxy sealer something to close that down uh, obviously has all this junk right here because it's just been sitting under trees uh, this bumper is missing a piece and again we're trying to stay on a budget so i might just have to refabricate that with some fiberglass I'm not too sure if, if what it is that i'm, I'm gonna go for there uh, it is missing the nets there at the bottom so probably have to cover that up i don't like so much how that looks just open right there uh now let's take a look at the interior let's get ready for for this tough part yes yes it's a mess i know you don't have to remind me but let's take a look at what we are working with it's it's quite quite a mess up there all right guys so it is quite the mess in here uh, airbags did deploy as you can see they just kind of taped it up so we're probably looking at a brand new dash i'll have to try to give me a good view on one uh, on something like that 
Uh, you see this here, it's just popped open. The seats, they're just dirty, but in good condition. They're just cloth, but no, no rips. So that's a good thing, still works, you know, still reacts. Uh, got most of my interior pieces in the back, just kind of thrown. I'd have to look through this in detail, see exactly what I have, what I'm missing. Let's see if we can pop open the trunk though. Let's see what kind of goodies we have. Oh, I need the key. All right, so let's take a look at the trunk. It has the cool little keyhole on the light, the tail light. It's pretty neat. Uh oh. It's not doing anything though. It's not a good sign. Uh, let's see if it has a switch up front. Uh, I see the hood, but I don't see anything to help open the back. But yeah, this is as that dent right there that we went over it does seem to have another hit right here. Uh, hopefully, there's some way that we can probably. Once we pop this open, hopefully there's a way that we can look into maybe pushing that out from the inside. I'm not too sure. Uh, just like I said, giving it a quick look. Might have to take these off, give them a good scrub, probably pick some of these new up at the, at the junkyard. But let's see what the hood has. All right, taking a quick look at it right off the back. It is quite dirty. Uh, I do see that it's missing this this piece right here. It's pretty bad. Might just take it off. Might not just keep it there. Uh, we'll see. If I can find a good deal on it, then I'll go ahead and, and, and pick a new one up. One of those. You see, these lines are cut too. So that's not good. It's something else that has to get replaced. But look, let me go ahead and start the car for car for y'all real quick. As you heard, it started off pretty easily with no issues, uh, but again, it is it is no no finished product. I can tell you that much. Uh, it does have its, its its flaws. My girlfriend wasn't too happy with this purchase, but oh, trust me, she'll be happy once I'm done with it. So that was pretty pretty much the tour of the car right now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nice clean. I will go ahead and time-lapse the procedure of it as well uh, Keep y'all updated and We'll be back shortly. Enjoy the time-lapse guys so what I think I'm actually gonna do is go ahead and use the ratchet and remove the seats so I can give the seats a good clean and give the car a good vacuum so let's get to that okay so that takes care of all the bolts not to remove the seat As we take a closer look, ignore that. That will be taken care of. It's just some miscellaneous parts. Some are needed, some aren't. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a nice thorough vacuuming and then get started with the driver's seat next and then the back. All right, so now we take a better look. 
it's still a bit dirty it's not the best but you know take care of the main main issues with the trash and the mess that i had uh, i am aware that i am going to get another shifter knob so don't worry about that clean up the dash and this here is looking like quite a mess so i'm gonna try to sweep out some of the heavier rocks and then hit it with the vacuum so that it does not damage my vacuum i went ahead and took out the mats as well back here i'm gonna hit these with the pressure washer <laughs> open the trunk turns out i just had to like wiggle around the key a little bit to get it open I, it is requiring a stick to hold it up so i am gonna have to get some new of these all right guys so it looks like that's gonna be a wrap for today's video i'm just gonna go ahead and keep on inspecting on the car like i've been telling y'all i'm gonna try to figure out what i need what i don't need uh what's gonna get replaced what i can fix um gonna do some part hunting if somebody has uh, an older Eclipse, this is an 01, it's just a GS model, nothing fancy. But if somebody does have some spare parts that they can help me out with or some parts for sale or know where I can get a really good deal, please reach out to me. My Instagram is Allen period cart. Uh, I will link it in the description. Just please let me know if you can find some cheaper parts uh, for this vehicle so I can get it up and going. But thank you so much for watching and thank you for the support.